guys. So this is my fire belly toad setup. And I'm going to give you guys a couple care tips throughout this video. So let's begin. Substrate. I use river pebbles. I find eco worth is a little bit too much and by too much I mean it gets the water dirty faster and I don't want to be in there every day switching out a bowl full of muddy black water. So I use river pebbles. They can't drag dirt from river pebbles in there. So it keeps the water cleaner than it would be. Oh, when I use EcoEarth, in the back of the cage, I have a um, little log, fake log I picked up I picked up at the last expo. My female firebelly toad goes and hides in there. And right now I don't have my male in here. I separated them because my male um, kept on attacking my female. They were mating, but then my male kept on biting like at her head. So I'm like, enough's enough. So I just separated them. And I don't know what I'm going to do with my male. I might get a separate cage or I might sell them. So moving on to this corner over here, I have a live plant. Then I put dirt in this area with live moss to keep the humidity up in the cage. So I don't mix my rubber pebbles and my dirt. I put a piece of plexiglass to separate them. And um, for their water, they since they're frogs, they drink from their stomach. Uh, there's a special word for it. There's a special word from what they drink from, from their stomach, but I don't know. I knew it, but I just slipped my mind right now. So, fire belly toads need at least 10 centimeters of water. So, this bowl holds at least a, at least about 9 to 11 when it's filled up to the tippy top. Like, as you can see right now, it isn't because I haven't, like, filled it up in the past three days. So, yeah, there's um, something for you guys. And a little fun tip. Fire belly toads aren't actually toads. They're actually frogs. They get their name fire belly toads from the red bottom so fire belly they have a nice red bright red on their stomach and they get the toads from if you guys could see here their back is all bumpy like toads so their name fire belly toads even though they're not toads kind of funny all right so they could say at room temperature between 65 and 70 to 80 degrees is fine their water if you don't if you're keeping multiple don't let the water drop below a certain temperature because that will um trigger their mating process and then you'll have a lot of tadpoles so keep the water at room temperature um for a light just to keep light on top of the cage i have a normal led light just to make the cage light up and look nice so yeah that's it you guys have any suggestions on videos Drop a comment. If you guys like the video, drop a like. Alright, see you guys.